Somebody get her a towel. It's come on, Eileen. It's the Talking Shrimp Podcast. I'm Joel May, and I'm joined here by... Hello, my name is Mitchell. It's England Games. Just Mitchell? Oh, Mitchell Lewin from there the Talking Shrimp Podcast. There you go. There you and go. Talking Shrimp generally. Yeah. Because we're not just a podcast anymore. Yeah, you've told me off for that. And I just did it. Yeah. Anyway. Well done. Happy Friday. Happy Green Day Day. Yes, today um, we will be seeing Green Day. And come on, Eileen, it's England time. It is. It is England in the Euros. And are we going to win it? Is well, the question. We're coming in straight, aren't we? Uh, we are about to watch England's first game to date this video straight away or episode of the podcast. Yes, this is the date of recording. We are recording this on Sunday, the, what is it, 16th? And uh, England yeah. play in an hour. So an hour? We've got, we're going to, we're going to get fully England podcast. Yep. Fully football. And then by next week's podcast, we might have a different tune, depending on the results. Exactly. So, Well, you guys listening to this might have a different tune than us, because uh, we might have already lost two games. So. Or yeah. one, hopefully. Let's be optimistic. Exactly. Yeah. Let's but be optimistic. It's coming home. It is coming it's home. It's coming Thank home. You. It's coming. I've sworn already. Yeah. I've sworn already. I was going to try and be right, better. Let's get this out there, okay? Okay. We have had a discussion with Nana Pat, and she does not like Mitchell swearing. She doesn't like me swearing, but apparently I've got a little bit better. Whereas I think... Um, I've noticed myself, to be honest. Well, there you go. That's, I listened yeah. to some of the most recent podcasts that came out, and uh, yeah, I swear a lot. So I'm working well, on it. I'm as Shrek working says, on it. it's better out than in. Well, yeah, I think he's more referencing burping and farting, but... well. I'm. We're talking about words that aren't needed, so I will try and cut down okay. on the foul language. So my apologies. Yes, and that is for myself as well. So there yes. we go. anyway, what do I think our chances are at the Euros? Is it coming home? Is the question. Are we getting even to the finish line? Is the other question. Are we making out of the group? We make it out of the group. Yeah, I, I think agree. we. If we don't make it out of the group, I think God, I'm going to change though. my allegiances to Wales. Oh, if we God. don't make it out of the group, mate. Can someone quote that, please? <laughs> Give it <laughs> by yeah. the next World Cup. By this podcast coming out, <laughs> yep. where we've lost both games and we're sat <laughs> bottom of the table. Yeah, bottom yep. of our group. Uh, I'm I'm optimistic. I'm not I'm not massively feeling it. I know kickoffs is in, for us now is like in an hour. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty nervy. Yeah, pretty you nervy. said when you got here, like. 20 minutes ago, you're like, I'm, I'm nervous. Yeah, I've just watched I'm the nervous. Holland, the Dutch um, scraper win against Poland. They didn't play overly great, um, but they did win 2-1. Um, I'm pretty sure that Slovenia and... Um, who are they playing? I can't remember they're playing. I don't know. That's just ended. Um, I don't know. I can't, I'm, so no. it's on to England, and we hope to keep the ball rolling. Well, we're saying this now. You already know the result. so yeah, That's true. Hopefully yeah. England have won two games. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, yeah. I th- I'm I'm optimistic. I'm quietly. I know there's a lot of fans who are like, yeah, it's coming home this year. We this is the best team we've had in years. We can yeah. do this. This is our version of the golden generation. I feel this is our you know Lamps, Gerard, Ashley Cole, Terry, Rooney era. <clears throat> yeah, but then they said all that then. And yeah, but this is nothing. it. This is this is the 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 reboot. This is the sequel. I, I yeah, I, we've got a lot of good players uh, yeah. like dotted around. I mean, different personally, areas of the right? World. This is a hot take, personally, because again, t- you know, players would have played, teams would have played, and all that. Personally, Phil Foden's had a bet- se- better season, and he's playing better football than Mbappe. There you go. That's a hot take. Fair enough. That yeah. is a hot take. I quite like it. He has played very yeah. well this year. He's played very well, and same with Jude, best yeah. midfielder on the planet, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. But I, is it going to work? Gonna... That is the question. So, because what is, I mean, to be fair, hopefully in the ep- this episode coming out, we will hear the lineup. Yeah, and I've got to be honest, we weren't that far off with the team that he took. No, we weren't, we weren't far, far off, off actually. So. If you go back and listen to that episode where we do the team, yeah, a couple of couple of episodes ago, we definitely say cheer well. We're like, oh no, nah, no to cheer well, and he hasn't gone. So yeah, yeah, exactly. So Jackie G hasn't gone, but yeah, yeah, we did say about Jack Green, James Madison, yeah, but um, yeah, I, yeah, I hope that I hope that. It's like it has been the last couple of tournaments, and I'm not saying oh, I hope we, you know we do well but go out. I just hope like it's a good feel good factor, kind of brings the nations because the nations f- screwed. Thank you, well done, good save, <laughs> isn't it? Good save. Let's be honest, Richie is. Um, uh, hey, 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 we said we weren't going to go political in this. No, I'm just saying. Okay. Richie, I'm, I'm not. I'm not giving an opinion. I'm just saying that Richie is uh, varying the population currently. How do you mean? Well, there's there's different opinions on him um, to a very very wide scale. I'd say it's yeah. very much yes, no, and there's not a lot in between. <laughs> so, you know, but on football terms, on football terms, okay, we are going to watch Green Day today, right? Yes. And I know I've brought it up again, but it's still a beer in my bonnet. Why can't I go and get a pint tonight 
at Green Day and enjoy myself. I can throw it up in the air. I can throw it over you. I can throw it over me. But I can't take a bottle lid into a town game. Uh, any football game. Yeah. I mean, that's Play a good that. example, but I'm going to give you a better one. Go Taylor on. Swift at, um, yeah. at Anfield. Yep, just happened last weekend. Yeah. Now. Well, it was yesterday and, and two days prior and well, three days the prior. Coming out. Date, date of recording. It's all wibbly um, wobbly timey wine. Yeah, yeah, this timeline's weird when we're discussing things like this. But yeah, um, that's Swift. a better premise because yeah. that is at a football ground. But yet, yeah. you can take open beers. You They sell beers openly. Yep. Yeah. There's usually, last time when we went to, uh, I think it was Wembley, yeah. there was a guy walking around with it said, I'm selling beer yes. attached to him. Yeah. It was an official one, not a dodgy bloke. But <laughs> it, was it was like... A bloke with a sign. <laughs> yeah, basically he had a backpack on yeah. that I guess was like a tanker or was, some sort of like alcohol a, in it. Yeah. And he, he would tap you some, like, you know, you'd, you'd pay whatever it was. And yeah, it was rather than going to the bar, bar they did a... I mean, it's a good idea. Oh, it's but a good idea. It gets you, the queue going down. Yeah, yeah I know what you mean. To give premise to base everything off what we're talking about. They're in a football stadium where if it's a game of football, you can't even take a beer into the open air. Yeah. It has to be drunk in like underneath. Yeah. And personally, I'd say a football a football game, I would personally say that the crowd is, I'd probably say more controlled. I would say they try to control the crowd more. Yeah, that's that's how I mean. But like with a concert, it's kind of just like a free for all. You can kind of yeah. do whatever you like, really. Well, exactly. You know? And that's not, that's not, that, not that that's a bad thing. No, but then like... One more for one, one more for another. It's just, you know... It, it's, so. it is... I'm not going to say the S word. No, it's it not is, good. It's poor. It's that poor. This, that this country... Richie, it's poor. This country doesn't value football... Yep. The amount that the population of this country in humans on the ground, mm-hmm. me and you, and you listening, value football. Oh yeah, yeah. If you it is one of the biggest me, factors. I, I I'd be this suicidal, has. mate. Well, not even. Well, that as well as I mean. the amount of money that it brings in. Yeah. Do you think by letting fans drink at your seat at a football game, do you think you'd get more revenue? That's a good question. Because I think personally, I would still say, "Oh, it's going to be a queue, whatever." I'll take I'll take like two pints into the ground, just sit with them. Because that's what you do at a gig, wouldn't you? You double up and then just go. My question to you is, as someone like me who doesn't drink very much, mm. do you really care about the drinking thing? Um, no, I just I care more so the 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 rules like uh, it's uh, one for one and not for the other. Yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense, especially when going I regularly to a, yeah. a football match. You know, I agree. I like I don't drink at all, yeah. and you very rarely drink. So, yeah. and we'd never drink at a game. I don't feel really unless yeah. it was. A and one-off. I would like to say it is only English football. Well, and Scotland and Wales. Yeah. It's only in the United yeah. Kingdom. You look at Galatasaray, mate, and people like that. You've got flares going, you've got mm. fire, yeah. pyro. Well, the good one to look at yeah. is the uh, Champions League final held at Wembley. Wembley's stadium. Yep, go Google that. Uh, and fans. you can literally see a fire of flares yep. in the one end. And you're when... telling me that you, you went through like you did with the playoff final we went to. Which was, well, and, and the playoffs. And everyone and exactly. all this. Like, are you kidding me? Seriously? I couldn't take a fucking balloon in. Yeah. I just swore. Sorry, Nana Pat. Yeah. yeah I just well, get it. passionate, Literally, okay? That's it. There was people saying that they would go into, like, the, the playoff finals the week before. Yep. And they were being vigorously searched for whatever. Yep, yep. Can't take balloons in, can't take flags in, can't take any of these things. You have to get all permission based on a flag and yeah. all this stuff. But yet, not that we haven't... I don't have an issue with... The, the Dortmund fans no I loved it it was great it's to see great to see yeah yes I can understand if there's the asthmatic people and like people who don't want it there's issues yeah. there but then ugh, I don't know that's where it gets messy doesn't it because that's where Leonel. this country's yeah uh, yeah Leonel, I agree messy. Yeah, no, this country's agree. trying too hard to make things perfect I agree but anyway we'll, we'll, we'll side back to kind of where we were with with England um, yeah we went full rabbit hole there again didn't we it, it was good politics. it was good I mean I, I feel like there was something else I was going to say but so I can't remember I've got, I've got something to ask you okay because I think I know your answer but we'll go with it okay so to the uh, neutral listener who's maybe not a football fan maybe not interested in it but I have purchased a England shirt yes. I've bought one off eBay and I have well two actually yeah the home and away strip um, and I'm currently wearing one the other one's there and um, I purchased it on eBay, and I have a name on the back too. How much money do you think I paid? Well, I know that? how much you paid. I, I know. I'm just like asking yeah, the audience a little bit. Yeah, giving uh, them you uh, know, a minute or two. Uh, what's the rhetorical question? Because obviously, there you go. And now we will tell you. Uh, I paid twenty one ninety nine, and I got the the full kit. I got the full thing, the full shoe. Okay. 
going to just quickly go to England's website. Yep, and you can tell me the actual, actual price. Actual cost of, of what buying... that shirt Let's should be. Let's go off the shirt, not the full shirt, but the shirt. Okay? Is this right? Is it wrong? Brand, here we go. England shirts store. are this price. England store. Brand new 24-25 kit. Bear me a second. It is loading. Obviously, it's not do-do, quick. Do-do, 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 do-do. You are currently wearing the away kit, and yep. I can currently see the home kit sat on the side there. Yeah. Is this without Thanks a name or anything? Just the this kit. is without a name. Okay, hit me. W- without a name. So how much did you pay? Sorry, I paid twenty one ninety nine. <laughs> Jesus. An England shirt from their official store mm-hmm. at the date of recording this, which is Sunday the sixteenth. Eighty four ninety nine. Oh, that is ridiculous. What did you say you paid? Sorry, twenty one ninety nine. You made a saving of sixty three pound for the, and you got shorts and the socks and a name and the name on the yeah. back. And I would like to say I ran the um, serial number that's on the shirt down here. Uh, maybe I wouldn't admit to that. Lad. <laughs> Keep that to yourself. Well, I just I just I ran it like to see if it was a, a fake or not. That's all I did. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, and it came back that it is real. There you go. Yeah. So it's a real shirt with it's a, a real serial shirt. number attached to it. Yeah. And that's all I did was type in England football shirt on eBay. You can go do it now. And that's what came up. And I, I think it was the second or third one down. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, I just like. It's just, like, imagine if you had like a family and they all wanted an English shirt. English shirt. Yeah. yeah if you, you, if you haven't you, okay, the house. Y- like, you've got Trent Alexander Arnold on the back of your Alexander of, Arnold, eight, is what you've got of, on your um, shirt. Letters. You, yeah. To get his shirt, the home kit this one is, with that name on the back that you've got wearing currently, yep. 90, no, £99 and 99p. That's ridiculous. £100. Yeah. That's, like, crazy. That but is mental. context, we're going to Green Day for cheaper. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Contextually, uh, it's hard to get a bearing, because I'm like, is what you've done bad? Yes. Because you've bought but them then non-officially. You do Nike but, really need that money? Do England need the money? I suppose. Where's well, the money N- going Nike to? Nike as well. Yeah, Nike, the the sponsor for it. Yeah. What I want to know. Right. Wonder what the prem. Not the premise. The like ratio. Yeah, the, the cut down market yeah. of where the money goes. Because when you're buying an England shirt, what does it go towards? Exactly. Obviously, Nike are going to take a cut, but yeah. I would imagine they're not going to take a cut of sales. They would charge England whatever the cost is to make them plus something. Yep. That's probably what happens, and then England have bought back like thousands of batches of them. I'd yeah. imagine what's happened. Right? I would say so, yeah. And then you break down the cost of the profit margin. Yeah. Yeah, I'd imagine that's what happens. So they probably buy them from... I would say they probably buy them from Nike for about £25. I reckon Nike probably make them for about 10 Oh, yeah. 12 quid. Oh, yeah, yeah. So 100%. Nike probably make yeah. 50% profit. Mm-hmm. If... Mm, maybe it isn't. How have they marked up that much? I don't know. And I've got to say, like, <laughs> for what you get isn't, like... I don't know. It's, it's not like I'm gonna... when you value, like... A piece of clothing. Yeah, Do I'm doing I mean? something. Like oh, oh he's, he's up. He's moving. He's coming across. Here he is. No, it's my shirt. It's my shirt. Sorry. Put it down. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, here's another context that we'll go into in a minute. I picked... I'm sorry, I stood up to go and... Um, he's got my English shirt. He's took it off my back. No, no, no. The other one. I wanted to look where it said Maiden. Okay, go for it. Have a guess. Uh, Thailand. Nail on the head. Yeah. There yeah. You go. Nail on the head. Made in Thailand. We're probably a factory of kids. How have Nike Probably. made... Yes. Sorry, I'm going to fold your shirt up and put it next to me. Oh, thank you very much. How... I don't... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It just seems think mental. Think of how many... Like, this is just England, by the way. Think of how many teams Nike do kits for. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. You know? I don't know where the issue starts there. I don't know where the issue starts and ends. I know. Because I bet you the people who make that kit don't see a, not, none of it. No, no. Because I wonder no. how... It's a whole rabbit hole then, because... Yeah, I know. Did Nike, did Nike pay the factory... Then the factory pay the workers. Yeah, is the factory an actual Nike factory or is it just a mm-hmm. like a sweatshop sort of thing? Exactly. Which I wouldn't be surprised any of it. <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised with any of it either. So, I don't know. Uh, this is all con- uh, not controversial. What's the word I'm looking for? This is all. Uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. Dependent on what the actual facts are. We don't know the facts. Yeah, this, so. yeah, exactly. But let us know your thoughts. Is, is it right? Is it wrong? Or, you know, th- th- would you spend the money and go, go yeah. buy an actual one? My, my actual question to you is, mm. have you, listening to this, bought an official one? And are you annoyed at Joel for buying a, like, a fake one in quotation marks? good question. Because I wanted, would be... If I was someone who went on to England's store and, and paid £100... That. For the same shirt. 
I would be livid that I'd bought the, exactly yeah. the same shirt, and to hear you just say that yours is an official one with yeah. the serial code that we checked. Yeah, I, checked against an actual seller. Yeah, and that how easy it was. Yeah, if you just type in eBay, click on eBay on Google, type in England football shirt, scroll down till you see one for twenty quid. We're not condoning that. We're just saying you can do it. You can do it. You can do a lot of things actually. Hmm? Jam on your feet. Jam That'd on your feet. Like. Oh, then, I bet then that feels you... quite nice actually. Yeah, do you know I that's how so. you make wine? Yeah. Squish well, grapes not, with your feet. Not jam on your feet, but yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Same sort of thing. Proper wine. Yeah. Yeah. But I've got to be honest, I do like jam. I love jam. I like jam on toast. Oh, jam on toast is a, is a Brilliant. win. My granddad used to have jam sandwiches. Thoughts? I love a jam sandwich. I do too. Yeah. yeah. I haven't yeah. had one in a while, but I'm a big no. fan. When we when he was in hospital, we used to um, sneak him in for him. <laughs> sneak, sneak him a jam sandwich. Nurse is nappy. Yeah, exactly. That's like a. Uh, I always remember my my grandma, my Welsh grandma, having a banana and sugar sandwich. Yeah, that is an old that's like a, sal- sarni, isn't it? That like, just that's, yeah, yeah that's, that's like up there with like spam and stuff like that. Oh, where it's, spam, yeah, that's Ugh. the old stuff. Never had spam. It's okay. I, it's very was, like um, yeah. squidgy. When I used to go uh, on holiday uh, when I was younger, mm. we just used to have a touring caravan and we'd go away in the touring caravan. And I remember we used to have like. Uh, we didn't call it bacon grill. We didn't call it spam, sorry. We called it bacon grill. Yeah. And it was basically spam, but just like a cheaper version. Yeah. And I remember having it for breakfast and it just used to make me feel so sick. Yeah, it's probably oh. not too good, is it? No. I mean, it is it probably with like be. the salts and stuff, but oh, yeah. um, from I mean, what it actually is, yeah, probably isn't too great. I bet the expiry date on it is literally like five years in the future. Oh, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's proper like stuff like that. Yeah, it's just yeah. salt. But um, yeah, uh. the other question, when you picked up that shirt, which you can do again to um, have a look at it. Okay. Um, thoughts on the um, St. George's Cross we've had this on conversation the in, on the, in the past about it I know but now you can see it on the shirt like that that's a, a I big don't, talking point I don't have an issue the collar's more of an issue for me it's a weird collar anyway it is a weird collar because it's not like a polo shirt and it's not like a v-neck it's a, it's like a v it's in between polo collar I will say yeah. it is quite a nice kit it is quite nice. It's not worth the money, but I've got to be honest. I'm against the cross. I don't know why you have to muck around with something like I that. I don't know why there's purple in it. No, that's all I would say. I, if it was on my shirt, which for context I'm wearing the away shirt that is purple and it went with the kit, I could kind of lean and be like, "Well, yeah." But yeah. on that shirt, it's a white shirt with blue it's, trimmings. I'm struggling to find purple anywhere else on the kit. Oh, there's yeah. on the arms. There is a tiny bit of purple. Yeah. But I don't know, for something as like culture, culturally significant as that, I don't know why I'd muck about with it, Nike. So there you go. I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't really. think there's any need to. It's just, yeah. you know, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, there's no need really. It's a bit it's like, do you remember when Cardiff um, had a new owner and he thought, right, Cardiff, the Bluebirds, let's have a new kit. It's going to be red. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I will say with this kit, hmm. some of the stitching isn't great. Now, I hope that's because this is a fake one. Well, I but, haven't actually checked that one too fair. I don't even know if oh, there is you're not. Okay, that, this so home we'll kit. We'll do that yeah, after. We'll, we'll yeah, look into there's it. There's like, like here on the badge, can you see? Yeah. There's a bit yeah. there. And I've got to be honest, color. for the price I paid, I'll take to it. To be fair, mate, I, you fine. can't worry about that, to be no. fair. So. That'll last you a couple of years. When yeah. the next English shirt's so. happening out, you'll probably get another one. Exactly. But, but yeah. yeah. Anyway, what do you think England's chances are? Um, this this Euro is 2024 in Germany. Personally, I think we go out in the semis. Like... In my head, I'm I'm thinking we go out who, in the semis. Who do we play? Say say we finish top of our our. I think we have to win the group, otherwise we're in a bit of a bit of a hot bath. It's not good. So what group are we in? England or in group what? C is it? Uh, I don't know. Top yeah. Word? yeah, group C. Yes. Yeah, with um, Serbia, Denmark, and uh, Slovenia. Is it? Um. Yeah. Serbia, Denmark. I haven't got the table. Wait, so we're in what group? C. Yeah. Slovenia, Denmark, Serbia, England. Yeah. Yeah. So if we win the group of C, we play the run, the third place. Whoever finishes third of groups D, E, and F. Yeah. So, you know, okay, it's, it's not even worth. Walk, it's walk not walk really out. worth looking at that, is it? Just go it on could the England be anyone. team. Like, where where do you expect them to be? <clears throat> I personally want England to make the final. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, especially I want... after the last one. Uh, yeah, we 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 lost in the final last Euros. Mm. That was right, innit? Yeah, we lost to Italy. Yeah. Yeah, corrupt, mate. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. We lost. I don't know. We lost anyway, didn't we? So, um, yeah. but yeah, I I don't know. I don't know really. I I don't know either. But I would hope we make the finals. We have a good enough team. I would say England this year has one of the most rounded teams. 
Uh, yeah, maybe not defensively, but yeah. No, no, I, yeah, I do agree there. Yeah, but I mean, got, I've, we... I've heard shouts for um, playing Saka left wing back and playing five at the back and stuff like that, so... Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that either, but I'm just saying, like, it is very, um, like you said, rounded. There's a lot of players that could play anywhere, you know, like like Trent, Trent's down as a midfielder, which I think does suit England, to be fair. Mm. I don't think, I think right back, like it's pointless looking at him. And he's not getting right back, is he? No. It, you know, no. you've got, you've got Walker and Trippier. There's no need Unless for Trent you play to go there. Walker as a centre back. But yeah. then what are you doing? Putting Harry Maguire left back is definitely not putting Harry Maguire anywhere. He's mate. not gone, has he? Of course he yeah. hasn't. Sorry. But no, I agree with you. I, I, I do agree. With yeah. You. Um, I mean, Joe Gomez and a few others, Cons have played left back. Did he? No. Somebody else came on and played left yeah. back in one of the friendlies. There's a few, too fair. Yeah, I mean Trippier as well, but Trippier, yeah, yeah. I, I agree with you. It's very rounded. I'm expecting them to get at least semis. Mm. That's honestly, isn't it? Yeah, and personally, I think that France win it. Yeah, I think France win it, and I think, um, I, I think there'll be an upset like Portugal go out, and I think Czech top the group and stuff like that. I don't know. Yeah. Do you want to talk about sweepstakes? We could do sweepstakes actually, because we've both done one, haven't we? Yes, that's what I was going to say. I, We've both got a team for sweeps. Well, I think we just keep that as our team. Oh, you, uh, yours is a... Mm. Well, that's that's the hard point. Anyway, for context, we did we did sweepstake at work, at my work. And at and, my um, work. Yeah, I got England. Who did you get? Uh, Chechnya, Czech Republic. There you go. Well, I'm, I'm, fair, I'm Dark Horse, I think. I'm very Dark Horse. I'm yeah. like... Uh, yeah. I got it with somebody else at my work because there was quite a lot of people who gauged into it yeah so me and this other person i went and spoke to him and they were like oh why we've got a crap one we're gonna be... i was like no i think we're all right yeah I, agree. I think we're dark horses we've got quite a quite a decent team there's some good players in the czech republic team so yeah. i'm quietly confident and they're in a bit of a poor group they're actually pretty chic they are pretty hey, chic hey, hey. pretty look chic. at that that's not a swear word that's not a swear word no yeah um yeah no like what's in the portugal's the only other like I'm going to say in quotation, the bigger team. Yeah, Czech should go through. They should do. Like yeah, yeah. Turkey, I think, is the other one, and I can't remember who else is in that group. But yeah, but no, I, I agree. I think Czechs are dark horse. <clears> I yeah. have two reasons to cry now if England go out. Yeah, basically, so. <laughs> you, lo- you lose on the sweep state. In general, and, yeah. and the sweep state, yeah. And um, the other thing that we have to tell you about is uh, what we briefly touched on, but we do have. Uh, or well, I, I think we have had. I don't know when it's coming out. I'm not so, sure when it's coming out. What are you looking at me for? The football cards. We have a card pack opening video coming yes, out on specifically the Euro 2024 tops match attack collection. So if you like watching on TikTok and all um, online videos of people and people in people opening packs, yep. all ASMR like, gently ripping the paper and then yep. revealing cards one by one, we have a video coming out on Wednesday. Yeah, we think you'll enjoy. So well, I hope it comes out on Wednesday. Well, has it come out by this podcast? No. Uh, oh, yes. That's the thing. Yeah. It will be out. Sorry. It, will, it will already be out. That's what I wasn't sure about. So, yeah, yeah, sorry. It, it will out. already be out. Yeah. I, pointless teasing it. And if you do like it, we will continue it. I, I, I've bought a pack separately uh, to that video, and we have more. So we can go through we, a few, maybe. Yeah, I think we might do got. a follow-up video uh, like near the end of the Euros and just say, like, these are all the cards we've got, plus... Uh, from yeah. our childhoods, we've got a load of them, haven't we? Well, yeah, you could, more so than me. I had some as well. But. Yeah, yeah. See if you can find them. But I mean, yeah, we've got quite a lot of football cards and things like that. So if you do want, I know it's very, very football related right now. But if you do want to see it, let us know. Yeah, and we. I'm not. I'm apologising, but not apologising. Uh, it's going to be a lot of football content f- for the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I mean, it is Euros. You know, we're gonna we're gonna we're milking the Euros and we're getting yeah, into the Euros. Yeah. So, but after that, we do have some ideas. So stay with us. Yeah, we'll get back to the ghost hunting stuff and stuff like that. So. Exactly. Yeah, so but we'll, Euros at the minute, we're gonna have like um, some EA seasons videos coming out where we play as England. Yep, we've got and... an actual live footage. Um, What's that? Sorry? Football-y. Yeah, yeah we've got a, football. a fo- football go. video coming out again. Yeah, like the one we did a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, pack football open. stuff. Yeah. Pack opening, which is already out. But yeah, yeah. So we'll do a bit of that. Um, but yeah, if you friends. enjoy it, let us know. Anyway, uh, back to the whole thing. Um, so when you when you were a kid growing up, uh, what what's your memories about England? Watching them in championships in general. What My was your memories? Few memories of England. I have two two two, two memories of England. Your really, the one is, um, I. Uh, uh, I can't remember which one it was, which way around it is. I get the thing mixed up. I think it was we were in a a final mm. or something. I might have been just like a knockout game. None of my family are really into football. It was very rare if we watched football as a kid. Mm. But I remember maybe being ten, something like that. 
And we all sat down in my front room, which we never usually do. We usually we have like a conservatory room, which we usually sit in. Um, and we all sat in the front room and watched an England game. And I think it was the England game where Lampard didn't oh. score. He didn't <laughs> score. I'm sh- pretty sure yeah, it was that but game. But he did score. He did score, but he didn't yeah. score. It was England versus Germany 2010. <clears throat> I think it was. So how old does South that put Africa. me at? I'd be 12. Yeah, you, 13, we, were, 12, we were in... Um, yeah, it was the end of year 7. There you go. Yeah, 12, 13. Nice. Maybe. I don't know if it was that game specifically. But I remember being sat in my front room. Yeah. Um, I was sat on the floor, my family on the sofa and stuff like that, watching an England game. And I remember just thinking, man, this is boring. And then it just all happened. Like it, it No, was... I, I, I'm I'm not 100% sure it was that game. Ah, uh, well, to be yeah, honest. If, if it was. I, I remember just watching an England game thinking... Like I, n- I didn't really know what was yeah. happening. I must have been younger. It must have been. It can't have been that well, game. I, I remember that younger. game. Do you want me to trump you? That game? <clears throat> Go on. Then. We were at the Power League that day. At we? a birthday party. Yeah, we were at the Power League. Oh, so it couldn't um, have been that then. Well, it no. It, been that before game. that game, we were at the oh, Power okay. League. Everyone's in England shirts. We went back, and I went back to my nan and granddad's. Right. Context: My granddad's German. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> we played Germany, and um, it, it, it Lampard hit it. It went over the line. I started to celebrate, and he looked at me like, "Oh." Okay, and yeah. Um, yeah, the ref didn't give it. Yeah, it was all. It was it. The, the lino said like, no, nah, it didn't go over or whatever. So mental, um, yeah, that mental. was interesting. But yeah, I'd say <clears throat> mental. Yeah, I remember I, the, the South Africa World Cup sticks in my head uh, for the crisps as well. Walkers did the Walkers crisps. Yeah, yeah, it, and, that yeah. is the best World Cup. I think. That was my favourite one, I think, yeah. growing up. I mean, you had everything. Like, the commentators were, like, legends. Yeah. You had... Um, the Vuvuzelas. Yeah, the, the Vuvuzelas. The song was class. Oh, the yeah. songs were class, I should it's say. It's still, like, a big song now. Yeah, yeah. Um, the the, the uh, G- Jibalani. Flag. The, the ball. The wig- wibbly wobbly The ball. best ball. The yeah. best ball. Yeah. That is still it, the best so ball. So unpredictable. Yeah. The goals that went in... Um, was it uh, uh, Nigel De Jong um, nearly killing Javi Alonso? Yeah, um, kicking him in the chest. You had um, so much going on. Yeah, that was a good World Cup. The first goal. What's 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 his name? Sh- Shabba Laba Laba Laba. Yeah, some of that. Yeah, yeah. Fafana, Fafana. <laughs> Whatever it is. Yeah. Oh yeah. What Honestly, a such a good World. Uh, yeah, World yeah. Cup. The other memory I have is my dad crying after Ronaldo winked at Wayne Rooney. Uh, when he got sent off against Portugal in 2006, I think it was. Oh, really? Um, and we went out to Portugal, which Damn. was started the whole Ronaldo hatred. By the way, Messi's clear. There you go. That's just, why you don't get out there. Him. Yeah. Because he made your dad cry. Yeah. Unless, here's a hot take, right? Unless, if Ronaldo and Portugal win the Euros mm. and Lionel Messi wins the Copa America, yes. what happens? What do you mean, what happens? Do, are you saying, like, Ronaldo's like clearer Messi then? Are you saying Why? Messi? Well, it's just it's, it's it's a context. Like, what what happens if uh, Portugal win and and um, <clears throat> Messi doesn't? Well, he won the World Cup. This year. I agree, but then that you got the context of saying like, well, he's, he's won it twice the Euros and stuff, which you know. I I, I hate this debate. I hate the this Messi debate. or Ronaldo because they yeah. are completely different players. Yes, I agree, and I personally, looking at them both, I would rather watch Ronaldo. Ronaldo's from, from how a better I like player. Football. Yeah, from like, well, I, I wouldn't say better player. No, because he's not. No, no. Maybe I don't mean a better on player. the eye. He can be. But yeah. When, if yeah. you if you know ball, Messi's better. Oh, that's a that's nah. A statement. If you know, nah, mate. Messi is like, ah. Oh, the the crazy thing about it though is that you've got Messi and Ronaldo, and then a massive gap bef- between like any other legends. Yeah. 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 No, I do agree. Like there is like the the gap. There is a gap between. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Um, Between Messi and Ronaldo and then everyone else yeah. sort of thing. So the last thing I was going to ask you though is... Not last. We've got, we've got a few more football things to rattle through. Oh well, yeah, I'm but sure. I, I had this in, in the pipeline. Oh, okay, know? go on then. Sorry. Um, what's your best England eleven that y- you remember? But before I answer that, I'm going to say the Ooh. other Ooh. thing that came to my head go on. when you said what are my memories of England oh, growing yeah, up. Go, 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 go. The other one was when I used to go on holiday in my touring caravan still. And they, we used to go to a site not far from Shrewsbury. I'm not going to say where it is, but not far at all. Um, and they had a swimming pool. And I remember there being an England game on. And I wasn't fussed, but it made the, it made it that the swimming pool was really quiet. So I was happy <laughs> in the swimming pool because everyone was watching. The yeah, because it was like yeah. the pool was there, and then they had like a TV on in like nearby. Yeah. So a lot of people were sort of like watching the game, and yeah. I remember just like hearing it because they had it on loud. Uh, and I remember it because a other kid was running around the swimming pool, running, 
shouldn't be doing shouldn't that. Shouldn't be doing that. Time. Talking shrimp, top tip. Don't run out of swimming pool. And for exactly that reason, he fell over. And I'm going to say a swear word. He ate shit. He fell over big time. Really? He absolutely. But full, full kid face. fell. Full. He did a proper kid fall where he fell like a pencil would when you drop it on the floor. He went like, fell forward on his head. Yeah. And then like his feet rocked backwards and then flat onto his face <laughs> again. He got a double. He basically turned into <laughs> a banana for 30 seconds and then sort of just was splat on the floor. And I was like, oh no, here we go. Waterworks. No, he got back up and ran off. Yeah. Yeah. And he, he must have been, what, like two years younger you know, than me? I feel like so I must have been like, like eight, t- ten. It, it's one or the other, like isn't it? Where they, they either cry their head off and scream or, or they just yeah. get back up and get on yeah. with life. Yeah. I think he was just happy to be in the pool, to be honest. So he just got back yeah. up and ran it off. Get on with it. Yeah, he seemed yeah. fine. But uh, he proper fell. Big time fell. <laughs> one of the funniest things I've seen in my life. Did you do anything? Did you move? Oh, no, he got off and he was fine. I was yeah, the same fine. sort of age. I was just sort of watched it happen. He could have gone to help. Could have asked for his right. Mate, when I was a kid, I didn't talk to anyone. I didn't. Yeah, that's true. I just stayed out of the way of people, mate. I don't yeah, know. you were a mute until you were about eight. Nine. I was what? A mute. A mute. Oh. Yeah. Cheers. I see that on monk, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I talk to everyone and on a podcast. Yeah. Um, um, but to answer your question, yeah, you talk your favorite England eleven. Go on. Um, uh, you go first. Okay, in goal, you got better memory. The Shrewsbury man himself, the living legend that is Joe Hart. Yeah, that's a good answer. He should have been a cricketer. But anyway, yeah, Joe Hart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Joe Hart, yeah. He Joe has to give be. you goalkeeper. He I, has I, to be. Uh, underrated. This is why I want you to go first, because I feel like right, yeah. you're just... Uh, I'm just going to copy every answer you're saying yeah. now. Okay, right back. Because my memory's poor. This is controversial. Well, actually, no, no. Right, right Glenn back. Glenn Johnson. I was going to say Glenn Johnson. Were you actually? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, no, I was, I'm, I'm going to go for trips. I'm going to trip you. Just for that free kick against Croatia. Yeah, okay. Trip is yeah. in, in there. Left back Ashley Cole speaks for himself. Best I was thing, best that was the one that I had in my England. head. Yeah, Ashley it does, Cole. no one comes close. Yeah, centre backs. Should we go for JT? John Terry, Big JT. I'm gonna have to say Harry Maguire. I mean, you got you got Rio. You got I don't I don't never liked Rio. Well, I used to like Rio. So no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say a, a different one actually, a bit of a controversial one, but they were solid for about two, three years or so. It was Leslie JT? King. No, Gary Cahill. Okay, yeah, good, fair enough. Good, solid centre-half yeah. he was. To be underrated. I, I just yeah. love Maguire from... Yeah. I, I re- remember, what was it, a couple of years ago, we were watching uh, England in the Euros, I think it was. Or oh, was it the World Cup? The penalty. The penalty, oh, that yeah. as well. And a few years ago when we went to a local pub. Yes. And I remember one of Sweden. our mates had a, a bet on him to score a hat-trick. Uh, yeah. A hat-trick, a header. Yeah. And I think he did. Yeah, and he won a lot. Yeah, and he won a lot from uh, yeah. Slabhead scoring slab a header. Slabhead, yeah. So, By the way, this isn't know. like the best 11. We're going off favourite. Yeah, favourite. So, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'd say JT. And I agree, I agree. I'm going to go centre of the park. I'm going to go for Lamps and Gerrard. Lamps and Gerrard, has to be. It has to be the best centre mids. Yeah. yeah. Uh, left Paul Scholes not getting a shout? I'll, no. I'll be that one. No, 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 no. No, okay, no, no. fair enough. No, 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 no. No comment. No more add into that. Uh, Gerard Lampard clear. Paul Scholes is is um, below. Simple as that. Fair enough. I'm not and gonna... I, I will fight anyone that says it because uh, I've got argument to uh, say. Go on then. I'm going to ask why not. I'm going to be that. Person. Gerard and Lampard could do what each other could do. At the significant other club Scholes couldn't at Chelsea and Liverpool. There's your argument. What do you mean by that? Oh, so... Skulls couldn't do as good as Lampard at Chelsea and good as Gerrard at Liverpool. It's as simple as that. Whereas the other two could do good, as good as Skulls at United. <clears throat> Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm not I'm not saying either way. No, I'm, I'm just asking out the audience. They would be yes. my two as well, just to clarify. I agree. Field. Yeah. Um, left, left and right. I've got my right, can I say? I've, I've got both of them, but you go for it. Uh, Theo Walcott. Yes. I love yes. Theo Walcott. Young Theo. Yeah. Yeah, he was rapid, yeah. wasn't he? He was yeah. so fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and we're not so, obviously like... It, That's actually who you would have picked as well. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. mental. The yeah. left one, um, so interesting, and that goal he scored. Stuart I can't Downing. Remember. No. <laughs> I don't want to surprise that, no. <laughs> um, Joe Cole. That goal yeah. he scored against like Ukraine or something, so like electric and stuff. He's yeah. underrated baller in back in the day. He was good, very yeah. very good. I don't know. I'd pick left mid. I don't know. Left mid. We, think... we could have Stuart Down if you want. Adam Johnson. Oh, right. Reverse. <laughs> I'll have Joe Cole. What about you? <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. He's played left mid. Uh... I'm not taking Rashford. No, never. 
Uh, just for clarity, we're saying like players that we remember. So I'm, I can't yeah, go say like George. Head, like we're yeah. not looking at this up like right. Best, like. I can't go say Best or like no, Bobby George, Charlton. No, or no, like. Best was um, North right. Island. One. Oh, of course he was. I was just thinking right mids. <clears throat> yeah, uh, left mid. Left mid's a hard one. Um, I mean, you could, you could have. Uh, I can't think of anyone who's played left mid. Past few years, um, Stuart Downing was a left mid, wasn't he? Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna say Stuart Downing only because. I remember before I got into like actually supporting England. Yeah. On the door in my bedroom, I stuck a sticker of Stuart Downing on it. Okay. Okay. And I'd never had like I didn't I... really like football. <laughs> I think he was number eight. I think. Yeah. And I stuck him on my door, and I don't know why. And he was there for months. Okay. Oh, that's, that's just fine. Just literally a stick- sticker of Stuart Downing. Yeah. And that was it. Probably. Well, this is where it gets hard. Strikers. Yeah. Because I've. Got... I don't want to pick Harry Kane. I'm not picking Kane. He's not my favorite striker. He's not my favorite. Wayne right. Rooney. I think Waza has to go in. Wayne Rooney's there. He has to. The other one, little fella. Michael Owen. JD. Jermaine Defoe. Jermaine Defoe. Or, big Peter fella. Crouch. <laughs> Peter PC, Crouch. yeah. Peter Crouch. Peter Crouch and Jermaine Defoe at top together. Yeah. They yeah, might have been the I, funniest to look at. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. And they played together at Portsmouth, was it? Or was and it Spurs, Spurs, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But JD was on another level. He he, he was a ball, eh? he was. Like, Crouch was good, but, oh, Jermaine Defoe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Great he went player. to Celtic as well, didn't he, at the end of his career? I think. Uh, Rangers. Was it Rangers? Rangers and oh. Bournemouth. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a good lad as well. He's a, he's a good geezer, he is. I don't know him personally, but. No, I'll. I'll he know, did a lot with um, that Sunderland. Bradley Lowry. Bradley Lowry, yeah. Yeah, yeah full respect to him. Yeah, that's, very good. Yeah, it's good too far. Yeah, um, but um, yeah, that's that's our kind of favourite eleven. Yeah, I I have to agree. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with our eleven. I don't yeah. think we'd win any tournaments with them, but no, we haven't got Bex and stuff like that. Oh yeah, we didn't put Beckham in. He's not my favourite. He's not my favourite either. Too far. Yeah, because I, yeah. I watched Beckham towards the end of his career. Yeah. Well, like <clears throat> I remember the the free kick against uh, Greece. Yeah. Um, which controversy wasn't it? That's not that wasn't to win the game. Where everyone thinks it was. Oh, it was know. a draw, and then we we went through. Right. We only needed a point, I think. But yeah. Anyway. Um, mm. Yeah, I'd go for that. But um, any other yeah. football things you want to talk about? We've had thought about our predictions. What do you think the score is going to be today? I mean, obviously the people, everyone, Serbia at home. This, yeah, England are about to play Serbia. Well, let's do both. Let's just have a look at the team. Oh, is sorry, this Denmark on Thursday or Slovenia? Uh, it's. Denmark, I think. Okay, well, today I'm going to say England... Hold on, before you say, before you say it, let's, 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 I'm going to read the lineup. England's lineup for their first I, game. I, I can, I can tell right, you Do you want to guess? Pickford. Pickford's in goal, yeah. Carl Walker. Carl Walker. Stones. Uh, if you go in the centre-backs, yes. Gway. Yeah. Trips. Yes, that is the back four. And then Trent, Rice, Bellingham. Trent, Rice, Bellingham, yeah. Foden, Saka, Kane. Odin Saka Kane, yeah. There you go. That is England's lineup. Look at that. And I think we are going to win 3 1. Oh, do you know what's really weird? 3 1, yeah. Go on, and sorry. I think it will be. Hang on, I, t- I texted this to a mate the other day. Here we go. I said 3 1 to England. Hang on, I said the specifics as well. Hang on. I said 3 1 England. Harry Kane, 29th minute. Phil Foden, just before half time, 43rd. Yeah. And Saka to finish the game, 83. Yeah. See, before go. before the Euros started, I thought you know, there's not going to be many goals. It's going to be a cage of Euros. Yeah. Goals have been flying, flying in. Yeah. But, I mean, the first game. Yeah. Five one to the Germans. Yeah. In the backyard. Um. But I'm gonna say. Uh. I think I'm. Gonna, here, we go. here we go. Here we go. I want to say one nil, but I'm going to be optimistic and Ooh. say two nil. Okay. 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 Do England you want to go don't specific? ever. Um. I'm gonna say Trippier gets a goal. The second one. And I'm going to say Harry Kane gets a goal. What a weird way to do that, but okay. Yeah, Harry Kane gets on the first one, Trippier gets the second. Numbers? Uh, Harry Kane in the 60th minute, Trippier like dead of the game, 88th or something like that. Late, okay, yeah. fair dues, 0-0 no, no, half KG time, first yeah. half, England aren't going to come up. I'm saying okay. this like I know, England aren't going to come out the bats. We're gonna be, it's going to be a slow, steady start. Kick-offs in half an hour. Half an hour, <laughs> kick-offs in literally half an hour for us. Yeah. Do you know what's weird? I'm just looking at the lineup. Mm-hmm. Our team goes 1-12. to 12. What number are we missing in our squad in this first lineup? So every number's selected apart from one, not the number one. Number one's obviously Jordan Pickford. What number does the England starting eleven not have, which makes him a twelve? Trippier being number twelve. Trips is twelve. Oh well, three, three, number three. Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw. I, I I'm guess. Guessing yeah, Luke, three. Luke Shaw is number three, and he's on the bench. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. I was yeah. trying to work him out there. I was like, oh, striker. But yeah. then I was like, Bellingham is. I, so. I was looking at it. It looks really satisfying that it goes one, two. Then it misses three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
Yeah. I'll line up. Okay. Just looks cool. I like that, yeah. Looks but, cool. Um, well, we, we better uh, go get ready, haven't we? We better go. we yeah. got half an hour till kick-off. We've got some flags to put yeah. up. Southgate, you're the one. You still turn me on. England. Football's coming home. England, bring Again. it home. Again! England, bring it home. Please. God save our... <laughs> <laughs> on Father's Day as well, by the way. It is. Uh, Happy was, Father's wasn't Day. Wasn't there some sort of parade or something today in... Like to do Pride. with the royal family, royal oh. family. Oh, I don't care. Uh, yeah, I don't know either. Yeah, but it's apparently England, there's England big thing happened. England. But it is England Day today. Yeah, it and is Green Day for us. Green Day for us. Weird when this that. episode comes out, yeah. yeah, yeah. And hopefully we'll already be top of the group with one game left to go. Yeah, and hopefully we will be support act deep with Green Day. So yeah, true. Well, we'll leave you on that. We hope you have enjoyed the England game so far. And the card video. And the Wednesday. card video that came out on Wednesday. If you haven't watched it already, please go back and watch it. Yep. Um, we're going to have some more football things coming soon. Um, please like and share and please tell all your friends about us because why would you not? You've listened this far. You've made it this exactly. far into this episode. So you must enjoy us somewhat so that you can at least tell your friend and your pet dog. Oh, I love dogs. Yeah, dogs are fantastic. So, on that note, anything? Any final messages, Joel? <clears throat> bark, bark, and bark, bark from me. Goodbye, That's to the dog. Goodbye. Goodbye.